Today I'll show you how to create a simple yet powerful cinematic reveal title effect using shortcuts. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more useful tutorials. Hey there, I'm Sankesa and welcome to Vertical Darts. Let's dive into the tutorial. First, I'll add two video tracks to add titles. Go to open other, select text and choose simple. Click on open. Enter your text here. Uncheck the box for use font size. You can change the font if you like. Drag and drop the text onto the timeline. Then adjust its size and position. Now I'll copy this text by pressing Command or Ctrl plus C. Then select Video Track 3 and paste it by pressing Command or Ctrl plus V. I'll reposition the second text and change its wording. Make sure to adjust both text accordingly. I'll enable the safe area guide so the text doesn't appear too close to the corners. Select 80-90% safe areas. Select the first text clip. We'll apply two filters, size, position and rotate and crop. Click the plus sign to add a filter and search for size, position and rotate. Then again click on the plus sign and look for the crop effect. Select crop rectangle. Click on transparent to make the background transparent. Then adjust the crop lines based on the size of your text. Now select the size, position and rotate filter. Move the play here to the 1 second mark and click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then move the play here to the beginning of the timeline and shift the text downward so it disappears from view. Right click the first keyframe, go to to next and choose smooth. Then on the second keyframe, right click, go to from previous, is out, select is out exponential. Lastly, add a fade in effect to the text. It should look like this. Now apply the same effect to the second text. But make sure it appears a few frames after the first one. To add some extra flare, let's apply a blur effect to the background footage. Click the plus sign and search for blur and select blur box. Move the play here to the beginning of the timeline and click the stopwatch icons next to width and height to create keyframes. Then move the play here to the point where both texts are fully visible and set the blur to 0%. Here's how it will look. 
I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to check out more shortcut tutorials on my channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.